Welcome back to Vintage Story. This video is a little bit different. There is a huge discussion going on on the Vintage Story Discord about the development of the game, which just shows what a passionate community this is actually. Uh, so many different views. And I th was discussing what I would like in terms of decoration. And one of the people on Discord, Chocat, I hope I pronounced that correctly, said, why don't I make a video about it? So this video is just some ideas on how I'd like, you know, to see some decoration developing or more importantly, what I feel I need in the game to take me forwards a bit. Now, obviously these ideas will be on the forums you can go onto the vintagestory.at forum, you can vote ideas up, you can put your own ideas in, or if you like, why don't you put some of your ideas down below and I'll do a video and bring them all together. And you know, we can sort of not quite have a discussion by video, but we can at least show each other what we're thinking about. So, let's kick off. <laughs> First of all, I love plants and flowers. In real life, I'm a very avid gardener and I love collecting all the different plants and flowers. Uh, you will find that I have a greenhouse here, which is to show off my collection. So I think that one of the first things is that these tall ferns at the moment, they don't go in pots. And I would like to be able to have them in the pots as we have the trees. Now the trees go in the pots, the flowers go in the pots, the mushrooms go in the pots, even the horsetail goes in the pots, but the ferns don't and I do think they should go in the pot and I also think that bamboo should go in the pot. That's something that doesn't go into the pots. Now if you come down here guys, I have the most fabulous collection of clothes and I've been collecting the minstrel uh, clothes, stained leather clothes. Look I've got the squire stuff here and the lackey stuff which is gorgeous. Uh, also uh, I'm uh, perceived right if I take my armor off for a minute you can see that I'm actually dressed in the messenger gear. I also have a copper torque, squire braces and a messenger belt, so I'm a pretty well-dressed person. Looks as if I need some more armour. <laughs> and I love the design of this armour, absolutely love it. Balderan designed it and I think it's fabulous. So guys, I would like some clothes models where you can display your clothes you know the dummies that we have outside I'm going to go outside in the dark and to heck with the drifters we have got dummies outside I think you know the ones I mean but let's just go and have a look at them uh, I, I was saying that one of the things that really attracted me with this game is the beauty of the game and I want that development to continue alongside the actual intricacy of the gameplay and the different things in the gameplay. These dummies here. I absolutely hate the armor stands in Minecraft. I think they look disgusting. But can you imagine if you put some linen on these uh, with a bit of work? They look a lot better than those uh, armor stands in Minecraft. And if we put linen on those, you could have almost clothes models there. My, uh, my, I was going to say base. Uh, I'm afraid it is a bit of a castle, guys. I'm English and I do build castles. Um, it's a fortress. Fortress is the right word. It's developing nicely. So what else would I like? I mean, there's so much about this design I absolutely love. Uh, I do actually like the cobblestone and the bricks. I love the way the window glass looks. I love the lanterns, particularly the different 
views. This Molybda de Chalcis lantern is gorgeous. And look, the planters look great with the flowers in. So there's so much I already love. But what else? See, I have another collection over here. And that is, I have a collection of shoes should go, obviously, with the armour, but I've run out of room. Belts, not with the armour, with the clothes. But look, I've got a bronze gem necklace, a golden necklace, and a copper torque. All these guys, and indeed this jailer belt, um, came from panning. So you can get a lot of this really nice stuff from panning. But again, how do I display it? I would like to be able to hang it on the wall on armour hooks or maybe have a panel maybe you know like the saltpeter is in the mines a white panel with a hook on well a white panel with a hook on is pretty well what you've got here and it would show it off quite nicely i think or maybe a glass case that you could put jewelry in so i need to show off my clothes collection and my jewelry collection <laughs> so those two would be lovely now the other thing here is woods we have some lovely lovely woods here and the maple is actually quite greenish the birch is quite white but what we're really missing is a dark wood now the only dark woods we have are the wonderful aged planks actually one thing i never thought of is can you stack aged planks? I never even thought of it. Oh, no. Can you? Oh my goodness. How good does that look? And these are gorgeous. And you can build fences and things out of them. But we could do with a bit more variation in wood. Uh, and the trees in particular, I would like an ebony or maybe even a touch greener with a willow or a touch whiter with a mangrove. I used to play life in the woods and I really, really miss the, that's a Minecraft mod, I really miss the different variation of wood. Wow, that's a thrilling discovery. Now, with the different woods, it would be lovely to have chests in these colours. I mean, look at this, guys. You could colour code your chests, couldn't you? Wouldn't it be wonderful to be able to have different coloured chests and different coloured doors? I think that would be really nice. I, we already have different coloured fences, different coloured planks, different coloured blocks. But I think doors and chests in different coloured woods would be particularly wonderful. Um, and maybe also the trap doors. Um, I, you've probably all seen the trap doors, but let's go and have a look at one just to make sure. How about those in different coloured, whoops, different coloured woods? Look at these. Lovely design. And in, in fact, the quality of the design in this game is superb but <laughs> it's a big but <laughs> I could do with a little bit more variation I mean I think there's a lot one could do wouldn't it be wonderful to have acacia chests or this wonderful green color but at the moment you can't you just get the brown chests and the brown doors but I would like a bit more variation in that one so guys that's all my whinging about woods uh, there are other things I would like. So, we do have shelves downstairs, um, which are very nice. I don't know what you can put on them. I am, as far as I'm aware, you can only store food in them. The shelves I'm talking about, guys, are these shelves. Um, and they're really nice design. Can you put other things on them apart from food? Let's try with a bucket, shall we? No. 
all right but I, I just think that would be nice to be able to show off collections of things and then again I have other collections which I know I need to put into my notes section but over here is it in this one yeah look I've got books I mean I would love to store these and scrolls in a bookshelf it would be fantastic absolutely fantastic to be able to store those in a bookshelf now I do have bookshelves as you know over at my library that I found in the ruins but a bookshelf would be fantastic so basically it's just a lot more decoration oh and when I was mentioning the chests and the doors of course I forgot the other one which is tables and chairs which come in one color and wouldn't you just love to have different colored uh, chests right I'm going to take a break there because a lot of what I want to say is outside it's a beautiful starlit night so I'm going to just cut off and I'll come back to you when it's daylight right guys welcome back to daylight let me show you some of the other ideas that i would like and i don't underestimate the time it takes by the way one thing i forgot to mention is tables and chairs with this oh my goodness wouldn't that be wonderful i don't mean the aged planks i think those are very special and should be kept special right let's go down here now, one of the things that I notice very much about the trees here, and I know that they're going to work on the foliage, which should be quite stunning. And I know that's all planned at the moment. But the trees are very upright, which seems a crazy thing to say because trees always grow upright. But I come from England and we have weeping willow trees and you will find them everywhere they're very much in this type of environment this type of color and i could plant a k-pop tree here which i might do and put vines on it to give the look of a weeping willow and i think that might work but my goodness guys wouldn't it be lovely to have weeping willows here and if I come here over the bridge and coming under, which I don't normally do, I've realized how much it needs a bit of attention. That was a sort of a early build. But look at this. You have the beautiful, beautiful water. Look at the color of the water. You've got the reeds, the beautiful water lilies. Now a weeping willow there with its branches drooping down would be gorgeous, but I am going to plant a kapok tree and see if I could achieve the effect. I'd still prefer a weeping willow um, because they would give a much better effect than a sort of mock-up job by me. And while we're on the subject, water lilies, wouldn't it be lovely if they flowered? If we're going to have seasons, couldn't we have the water lilies flowering? Maybe a lovely cream colour. The water lilies in Kew Gardens have some gorgeous off-whites and creams. They also have this colour, which matches the cat mint. So they have some absolutely beautiful colours. The other thing I would like a word on is vines. Now, this tree was here when I came, and frankly, it's not improved with age. Um, I think I might take it down, because it's actually looking quite rattled. Um, I'd always left it because I regard it as a heritage tree, but there's only so much heritage. Now, I like the vines because you've got the main body of the vine, then you've got the tip of the vine. But um, I have used to play a lot of life in the woods, as I've said, and we had the most wonderful flowering vines. Or clematis. You could, we all love clematis or as the Americans say, clematis. Um, but wouldn't it be wonderful if we could plant those? I mean, I would love a garden with clematis around it. I have a garden with clematis around it. Um, I, I have a, I had, I moved from London, a very small garden, and I had 30 clematis in it. They're gorgeous. So 
it'd be lovely to have something like that that grows upwards and flowers. Now that's not a small amount of coding, I know, but I think it would be absolutely fantastic if we could have that. Now the other thing I did want to word about is that I love the water. I love the whole aspect of it. I like the colour, I like the way it moves. I think it's brilliant that when you get into the water you get the bubbles rising from the mud and then as you go underneath you've got these little tiny bubbles in the water and you can see the surface moving above you. I mean and the reeds sway and I mean the whole thing is just gorgeous but it's a little bit of a desert and I would love to have oysters. We've got rocks and if you use the sort of rock uh, model, sorry guys, I was trying to think of the word for it, and you, they spawned underwater, uh, perhaps when you're two blocks down, it would be lovely to be able to harvest them and or pick them up and to open them with a knife as you do with oysters to have a little bit of food and talking of food I need a little bit of food inside them and perhaps just the odd pearl that were really valuable that you could trade with people or more frequent pearls that you could trade or in the long term put into jewellery because I'm quite sure we'll be going in that direction eventually so those are a few of my ideas. Um, I just love the whole aspect. I love the beauty and the sophistication of this game. Um, I think it's absolutely fantastic. But I would like that to develop. I don't want the beauty of it and the building side of it to get neglected in the drive to have ever more functionality on the sort of you know fighting and hunting side of it at the moment so guys um just a few ideas from me on what i would like to see in the future now we do have forums vintage.at has a forum and be useful to go on there put your own ideas on um but please please do feel free to contribute to this debate on the Discord. So Chocat, thank you for suggesting I do this video. Goodbye guys, if you like this video, leave a like.